They designed this to be tough. We're supposed to have a small glimpse of what somebody going through cancer goes through on a daily basis. After the death of a close friend from breast cancer, Realtor Tina McDonough rallied a small team to walk in Seattle's Susan G. Komen three-day. When I went to Michelle's funeral, something changed in me that day. And I saw her husband and her 13-year-old daughter fall apart in front of us. And I walked out of there thinking, I can't not do something about this. When I formed the team, I didn't expect all these people to join. You know, the next year we had 39 walkers, and then 56, and then 86, and it just kept growing and growing. And through Tina's enthusiasm and relentless hard work, it's grown into the Susan G. Coleman's largest fundraising team in the country in 2013. Valley Girls and Guys is 168 walkers. We've raised $324,000 this year. Collectively, in the last six years, our team's raised almost $1.5 million, and we will never give up. I'm here with Team Valley Girls and Guys, the largest team that's registered here. She has the biggest heart. She has an amazing impact. She has the ability to take something and make it big. I pretty much guarantee every walker that if they want to walk, they're going to walk, and so that means money. Each walker has to raise $2,300 in order to walk, and that means a lot of events for us. And so we'll finish this walk, and we've already got lots of events already planned, and already 20-something walkers signed up for 2014. Events like the three-day are so crucial because Coleman, since its inception, has made tremendous strides in the fight to end breast cancer. In 1982, the breast cancer survival rates when caught early was only 74%, but today that five-year survival rate is 98%. And thanks to people like Tina and the team that she leads, we're making great strides because of her efforts. There are people like me, a five-year survivor in just a few weeks, who are alive today. Honestly, if it wasn't for foundations like this, I don't think that I would be alive today. I have a little girl and I'm a three-year survivor, and. It's, it's scary that she almost lost her mom. There's a lot of things that motivate me to keep doing it. I would probably say the big thing is the survivors. I want them to be able to someday be able to live and be able to breathe and not be in fear that the cancer is gonna come back someday. I feel like if I stop doing what I'm doing, I'm giving up on them and I will never give up on our survivors. What the walk means to Tina, <laughs> everything. It's uh, finding a cure so that she doesn't have to worry about her daughters or her friends dying anymore. And that's what drives her every single morning she gets up. We need a cure. We needed a cure yesterday. Breast cancer doesn't stop, so we don't. <laughs>